Big Bertha Origins, a beautiful supermodel who turns into a fat monstrosity to fight crime. Are you familiar with the phrase, strangest might be the strongest? Well, that is precisely the case with Big Bertha. Born as Ashley Crawford, Big Bertha is a mutant who is capable of transforming not only her physical size, but also the mass of her body, and at will, may we add. Her ability to control her body mass and the distribution of fat not only made her craft the perfect body, Body, but also aided in her becoming a supermodel in her hometown in Milwaukee, a creation of John Byrne. The character first made an appearance in the 46th issue of West Coast Avengers back in the year 1989. Gear yourselves up for today's video where we will dig into the origins of Big Bertha, her comic book appearances, and also shed light on all her different versions. Are you ready? Let's dive right in. Before we go into our explanation, we have a very small request. If you like our content, please support us by subscribing to our channel. This is a small click for you, but for us, it means a lot. Thank you. Let's begin. I'm going home! I'm going home! How supermodel Ashley Crawford becomes Big Bertha. If we are being honest, we don't have much detailed information about Ashley Crawford's early life. But here is what we do know about her. While growing up in Milwaukee, Ashley realized that she was a mutant and that she had the power to transform her body. Now, when we say body transformation, we'd like to highlight the fact that she was in full control of the distribution of her body fat. Naturally, making that ability work in her favor, Ashley created an ideal body structure and emerged as a celebrated supermodel. In fact, with endless prospective opportunities knocking at her door, she relished her position as a thriving fashion model for quite some time. But it goes without saying that Ashley desired more from life and eventually responded to an advertisement in a local newspaper that was on the lookout for heroes. That's when she took on the mantle of the largest superhero, Big Bertha, and joined Mr. Immortal's superhero team, the Great Lake Avengers, to utilize her powers as a force of good. Now that we're clear on the basics, we will take a peek into the third issue of the limited series, GLA, to give you a proper understanding of the character's origins. Please know that we will only be focusing on Ashley's origin story here. The third issue begins with the Great Lake Avengers members, Squirrel Girl and Big Bertha, having a one-on-one -on -one conversation regarding the manner females are portrayed in comics, the impossible body standards, and how comics have cavalierly treated serious issues like rape and violence towards women. We get a good look at Big Bertha and there are no two ways about the fact that she is huge. As she is seen recalling the events of July 13th, or in other words, the day of the end of everything, she states to the readers that when it comes to the members of the Great Lake Avengers, the term model superheroes usually takes a back seat. Having said that, she addresses herself as a supermodel hero and simultaneously declares that one would think otherwise when they look at her. The next descriptive panel shows Big Bertha rescuing a bunch of school kids by coming in front of a huge truck and effortlessly stopping the vehicle from crushing down the children. The solitary fact that she is more than often greeted with revulsion because of her bigger than a sumo wrestler kind of appearance becomes pretty obvious when a passerby makes a nasty remark at her. Big Bertha mentally calls him a jerk and says that if he knew her secret, he would have certainly revised his statement. As we move on with the storyline, we learn that Big Bertha in reality happens to be Ashley Crawford, the top supermodel in Wisconsin. Putting further stress on her secret, we learn that while she does have the unglamorous power of adding hundreds of pounds of super bulk to her frame, she has an even more unattractive method of getting rid of her excess weight, and that is by throwing up. Post shaping her body to the ultimate supermodel figure, Ashley is seen working as the top client for Mirror Modeling, the premier modeling agency in Wisconsin. Her sizzling hot photo shoots often make one wonder what it is that a girl like her is doing in a state that is known for its cheese and a city that is famous for its beer. What is even more shocking is her constantly blowing off lucrative modeling career offers in fashion hubs like Paris, Milan and London, to name just a few. Now the thing with Ashley is that she knows with her powers she is capable of shaping her body however she likes and without even the slightest bit of an effort she can be every man's fantasy. But this is where the twist comes in. She is also aware of the fact that by utilizing her very powers she is also capable of doing fantastic things. For instance to be a hero and save 
the world. But unfortunately, her time to shine with the Great Lake Avengers is yet to come. In fact, the only super heroic thing that her team has done so far is defeating Dr. Tannenbaum's great robot, Snowman. We as readers also learn that Ashley funds the GLA, starting from their costumes, clubhouse and expenses through the money she makes as a supermodel. She has even made her penthouse as the GLA headquarters. As she is seen reflecting on her time as a GLA member, she realises that she feels great to be at a place that she calls home and at the end of the day, she does not really have anything to complain about. By being able to transform herself into the hottest girl in the world whenever she wants to, to most importantly, being with a set of people who can look past that and like her for who she really is, Ashley, aka Big Bertha, knows why she has chosen to stay in Milwaukee. Marvelous story arc of Big Bertha, GLA limited series. With Craig Hollis coming to a realization that he had superpowers, he found his calling and made up his mind to become a superhero. While Craig did become Mr. Immortal, he did not achieve much success. The only thing that was constant was him getting repeatedly killed by criminals. That is when it hit him that the whole thing would probably work if he was part of some team. This led him to put up an ad in the local newspaper calling out men and women of action with the sole purpose of forming a superhero team. Big Bertha was naturally among the ones who responded to Mr. Immortal's ad and was more than excited to be part of the Great Lake Avengers. Upon becoming a member, she is seen to be quite inventive when it comes down to using her mutant powers. While there's no denying that her super bulk mass and superhuman strength would work wonders while rescuing people from danger, she was often addressed as a freak primarily for her appearance. The team's first proper battle was against Maelstrom, one that led to the death of team member Dinosaur during the mission. Dinah's death deeply affected Big Bertha and it would only be fair to say that she experienced a crisis of conscience, so much so that Bertha actually thought of calling it quits with the superhero team and instead continued to live her glamorous life as the supermodel Ashley Crawford. But eventually she came round, post realising that she actually liked being with her teammates because at the end of the day they were the only ones that would look past her outward appearance and love and accept her for who she really was. Ashley, as Big Bertha, finally comes back to help her team battle against Maelstrom. Deadpool GLI Summer Fun Spectacular In this super-sized special The Great Lakes Avengers, who are now known as the Great Lakes Initiative GLI, are seen joining forces with the mercenary Deadpool after the god of revelry and wine Dionysus gets exceedingly drunk, falls off Mount Olympus and gets captured by AIM in the process. The technologically advanced terrorist group has big plans of using the power of Dionysus and causing what would be fitting to call mental instability amongst all superheroes. Okay, not all, but the ones that they certainly consider a threat. Fair to say neither the Great Lakes Initiative nor Deadpool fell into that category. In due course, the two forces were left with no choice but to team up with each other and rescue Dionysus. After their adventure together, the Great Lakes Initiative ends up asking Deadpool to be a reserve member of the team. While Deadpool happily agrees to that, the problem becomes something else. The mercenary ends up overstaying his welcome. The GLI becomes desperate in evicting him and as a result, the rest of the members end up asking Big Bertha to woo Deadpool with her feminine wiles. As part of the plan, Big Bertha ends up asking Deadpool to go on a date with her and the latter is absolutely overjoyed by her offer. However, things get very confusing when Big Bertha appears in her new civilian guise as the supermodel Ashley Crawford, shocking Deadpool to a whole new level. With the date taking place at an all-you-can-eat diner and the meeting eventually turning into a shootout, Ashley transforms herself into Big Bertha. It is later that she realises that it was her Big Bertha form that Deadpool was attracted to. Big Bertha addresses the mercenary as a chubby chaser and tells him to look past things and see her for who she really is. This makes Deadpool so happy that he ends up taking off his mask and disclosing his horribly mutated face. Unable to process such a sight that lay before her, Big Bertha instantly ends up vomiting, much to Deadpool's complete shock. The GLA in Detroit. A series of unfortunate events has led to the team getting disbanded and the members going their separate ways. But with the GLA finally being reinstated as an official and permanent addition to the Avengers, Big Bertha is reported to have met her former team members Flatman and Doorman at a dinner. Next, they relocate themselves to Detroit where they bump into a local girl called Pansy at an abandoned Stark assembly and manufacturing plant. Now, in case you didn't know, the fact 
factory happened to be the new headquarters of the GLA. Pansy, who had managed to lay her hands on Mr. Immortal's phone after the latter had buried himself alive in order to spend an entire year all by himself, cleared up the confusion right away and showed the members around the facility. All went well till the team was struck with the sudden idea of heading into a local nightclub right in the middle of the night and then attempting to persuade the owner to turn down the volume of the music there. Nain Rogue, who happened to be the owner of the nightclub, declined to do so and on top of that he started insulting the members making some rather nasty remarks at Big Bertha and Mr. Immortal. Big Bertha ends up lashing out and goes to the extent of damaging the nightclub which results in her and Flatman getting arrested. In jail the duo encounters Goodness Silva, a young girl capable of transforming into a wolf. While there's no denying that a few problems did occur, especially with Goodness Silva transforming and attacking the police inside the station, things eventually turned out fine with the intervention of Connie Ferrari. Connie, who happened to be the legal representative of the Avengers, had the members released from jail. Post this incident, the GLA were given an injunction, one that strictly prohibited them from doing any superhero activity. Sometime later, Goodness Silva was also added to the team as she took the name Good Boy. With the team eventually finding out that the person accountable for shutting them down happened to be Councilman Dick Snurd, or in other words, Nain Rogue himself, they had him brought to their base to interrogate him. Highly irritated at the fact they had no evidence to point their fingers at Snurd and his criminal activities, Good Boy ended up brutally attacking him in a fit of rage. The team dropped a half-conscious Snurd at a hospital and left. While the team laid low for a few days, Bertha had accepted a modelling job. She attended a modelling shoot particularly for a weight loss product invented by the scientist Dr. Nod. Oblivious to the fact that the scientist had plans of harvesting genetic material from her in order to come up with a pill that would let users alter their body weight at will. Upon realising that the whole gig was nothing but a trap, Bertha managed to escape from him for the time being. But with Dr. Nod ingesting a huge amount of pills, he becomes a mindless giant monster who started wreaking havoc. Bertha ended up ingesting some of the supplements herself in order to match up with the monstrous Dr. Nod. Dr. Nod even had his bod squad assist him while fighting against Bertha and the other members of the GLA. With Dr. Nod consuming more of the supplements, he altered into his enormous fat blob. That's when the team took up the advice of Mr. Immortal and had him and Doorman teleported inside the body of Dr. Nod. Once inside, Mr. Immortal punched the heart of Dr. Nod, which resulted in him collapsing and getting killed. The team's victory was roughly cut short with the arrival of Deadpool, who informed them that they had been fired and that they could not use the Avengers name anymore. Different versions of Big Bertha In the superhero comic book series titled Ultimate X-Men, the character of Big Bertha makes a rather brief appearance as a freak show attraction in Coney Island. In Deadpool Max, Big Bertha happens to be a sex worker, one that Deadpool hires as a sidekick at Bob's bachelor party. Her character eventually ends up getting entangled in Deadpool and Bob's misadventures. How powerful is Big Bertha? We are talking about a mutant here who is capable of controlling the adipose tissue in her body. One minute she is enormous and the next minute she is every man's fantasy. While the source of her humongous size still happens to be a mystery, it is assumed that it is extra dimensional in all probability. Big Bertha is seen getting rid of her excess weight mainly by throwing up and believe us when we say that is not a pretty sight. The character has on display superhuman levels of strength. She is easily capable of lifting about 50 tons and can also leap great distances and heights. She is seen possessing superhuman durability, being able to survive extreme climate conditions, high velocity impact forces and falls from massive heights. I guess it is only fair to address her as bulletproof. Besides all of these, Big Bertha also happens to be a fearsome unarmed fighter, having been extensively trained by both Mockingbird and Hawkeye. Last but not least, let's not disregard the fact that Big Bertha is also a proficient aircraft pilot. I'm going home! I'm going home! Other media appearance of Big Bertha. The 2009 animated B series Wolverine and the X-Men has the character of Big Bertha making a cameo appearance in the 10th episode titled Greetings from Genosha. The audience gets to see Big Bertha making a blink and you will miss her appearance inside Magneto's mutant safe haven Genosha in the scene where Scarlet Witch has just started giving Nightcrawler a tour of the island. Well that was the origin story of Big Bertha and with this we finally come to the end of our video here. 
So which version of Big Bertha do you like? The celebrated supermodel Ashley Crawford or the large superhero Big Bertha? And if you liked our content, don't forget to leave us a like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Have a good one and be safe. Thanks everyone.